Hey guys, it's Evan from TrustySpotter.com. Today I want to talk to all you guys who are new to going to the gym about what the best times to go are, when it's the least crowded, when it's really busy, and if you have any flexibility at all in your schedule, what time you should go to the gym. I also want to talk a little bit about what to do at the gym when it's like really, really packed. All right, so let's get into it. So the short version is that the gym is usually the most busy first thing in the morning like 6 to 8 or 9 a.m. and then it's really busy in the afternoon when people are getting off of work so at like 4 to 7 p.m. those are going to be your peak times again the gym is going to be really really busy early in the morning and then in the late afternoon and into the evening around rush hour the reason for this is pretty simple right people have jobs so they can only go before work or after work now some people go during lunch but that's a little bit harder to pull off if you have a tight schedule However, if you work like a nine to five job or a normal office job and you can make it work to go during lunch, that's typically gonna be your best bet of when the gym's not gonna be packed, especially if you go to one of these big box gyms like a Planet Fitness or an LA Fitness or someplace like that. Now it's a little bit different on college campuses. I know college gyms are a pretty big deal. Kids don't like to get up early, so they get busier as the day goes along. College gyms typically won't be very busy in the early morning and they're gonna fill up more and more and more and more into the afternoon and the evening. All right, so let's talk really quickly about what you should do if the gym is packed and it's really busy and you don't have any other choice but to get your workout in, what do you do? All right, my first tip for this is you should always have a backup plan. Any exercise that you wanna do, think about having a variation or an alternative in your back pocket tucked away just in case you need it. So if you can't get on the treadmill because it's too packed, be ready to get on the elliptical. If you can't get on the squat rack because someone's been hogging it for 15 minutes, have something else you can do like a Bulgarian split squat or a weighted lunge or something like that. And always have another option in case you can't get the machine that you need. It sucks when this happens, believe me, this happens to me all the time, but you gotta roll with it and you gotta be prepared. Another thing you can do is ask people to work in. Working in just means that you politely go up to somebody and say, hey, uh, can we switch out in between sets while you're resting? This is a really great technique for weightlifting equipment where people need to rest between sets. It's a really, really common thing to do to share equipment. And when someone's been on there for a long time, it's, it's good form for them to let you work in. You just have to ask nicely. So don't be shy about doing that. People ask me all the time. I ask people, it's not a big deal. Once you do it a couple times, you'll be a little bit more comfortable asking people to let you work in. Another thing you can do if you have a chronic problem with the gym being too packed is at some of these bigger box gyms, you can sign up for a class and reserve your spot even, or, or just show up. And the classes are usually gonna be a little bit less packed than the cardio equipment and some of the weightlifting areas. So if you're having trouble because the gym is always too crazy, like try signing up for a class and getting your work in that way. All right, so I'm gonna keep this quick today, but to recap, avoid the gym first thing in the morning. That's when everybody goes when they're on their way to work and they're getting ready for their day. It's usually jam packed. Second, it's gonna usually be pretty packed going into the evening around rush hour when people are getting off of work and they wanna get their workout in before they go home and have dinner. Your best bets usually are gonna to be to go to the gym during lunch kind of in the middle of the day. I know that's a little bit tougher to make it work with your schedule, but if the crowds drive you crazy, like they do for me, that's gonna be your best bet. If you're in college though, and you're having trouble with a crowded gym, you gotta get there earlier. College kids do not like to wake up early, so if you can be at the gym at like nine o'clock in the morning, you're gonna be set. All right guys, I hope this helped, and I've got a full blog post on my website find the link in the description. It goes into a lot more detail about this topic and, and gives some pretty good tips on how to deal with uh, a crowded gym. And I think you'll find it helpful if you like this video. Speaking of which, if you did like this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the like button for me. Um, just learning how to do this video thing and I hope that it's not too terrible. <laughs> all right, that's all for now. Thanks guys.